You brag that you have sexually assaulted women. Do you understand that? No, I didn't say that at all. I don't think you understood what was said. This was locker room talk. For as this. I told you, that was locker room talk. What we all saw and heard on Friday was Donald talking about women, that it represents exactly who he is. Bill Clinton was abusive to women. Hillary Clinton attacked those same women and attacked them viciously. I am reminded of what my friend Michelle Obama advised us all. When they go low, you go high. If I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation. Everything he just said is absolutely false, but I'm not oh, surprised. Really? It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Okay, Donald, I know you're into big diversion tonight. Right now, a lot of those nations are hearing what Donald says and wondering, why should we cooperate with the Americans? And this is a gift to ISIS. Captain Khan is an American hero. And if I were president at that time, he would be alive today because I would not have had our people in Iraq. This is the 10th or 12th time that he's denied being for the war in Iraq. You know, under our Constitution, presidents have something called veto power. How can you unite a country if you've ridden off tens of millions of Americans? My argument is not with his supporters, it's with him. She has tremendous hate in her heart. Regardless of the current rhetoric, would either of you name one positive thing that you respect in one another?